Hey guys, Carl here. Today in Power BI, we're going to be creating a play axis on your Power BI report view. So in order to, to in order to do that, we're going to go straight into get more visuals. When we go into get more visuals, we see it right here. You can just type in play axis, or if you get it to pop up, it pop up. We see that it's certified by Microsoft. So we'll just go ahead and add this here and you will see it populate right there. So now we have a play axis. So we'll just go ahead and click on play axis and we see that when we select the play axis uh, visual, we have this field here. So what we wanna add there is we wanna add the date. So when we add the date, we see that we have year. Now if we go ahead and click play here, we'll see that it'll start to cycle through the years of the data that we have. So 2018 through 2022. It does the same thing if we just drill down here and it'll go cycle through the quarter. So Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. And then it'll do the same thing if you do the months. So as you can see, it's just drilling down through each one of those selections. And we'll do the same thing with uh, the date. So how is this beneficial to you or someone with Power BI? So this is what I would probably make this look like if I had a play axis set up on my Power BI report. I'll just probably throw it down here in the corner. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to just do a pie chart. So let's just do a pie chart here. And then let's just do a card. Right, so now we have a pie cart and we have a card. So what I want to do is, is I want to add the region. And then I want to add the sales to the values. Boom. So now we have the region and the sales. And then to my card, I want to just add in the sales. So we can see something change. So we can see some changes. So now if we go down to our play axis, if we hit play on month, we'll start to see January. And we'll see what that looks like as far as summer sales. And as far as the Southwest, Midwest, and Northeast region, and it'll just cycle through all of those months. It will do the same thing if we went back up to year or quarter. So I'll just go back up to year. And if we cycle through the year, we'll see those same changes being made. Another thing we can do is let's just take away this. Let's just say we had a table. And in this table, let's just go ahead and add I want to just add the date like, like that and across and then let's just add sales to that. So the date and sales, so we see our total here. So if we go through the year and we hit play on our play axis, we'll see it cycle through the years. And then if we go down here to the month then we'll be able to see this cycle through the month now knowing that we have a whole lot of data this probably wouldn't be beneficial but just showing you how this works whenever you use the play axis on your report view in power bi now you guys know how to set up a play axis thanks